A new survey implies that were the Democrats to do what they've said they would do, what they promised to do, which is to cancel student loan debt, it would be a huge boost for them going into the midterm elections. I know what you're thinking, why do we need poll data to demonstrate this? I don't know, we're just trying to get through to the Biden administration, so hang with us for a bit. This poll surveyed over 2,000 likely voters in battleground states like Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. All of these, of course, are states that flipped from Donald Trump to President Joe Biden in the 2020 presidential election, which demonstrates that they can trend blue, but also the Republicans, in theory, can win there. Some of these elections were super close, so why take risks when you have a potential winning issue? And in fact, they do. Respondents were polled on how likely they would be to vote in the November general election should Biden implement a range of policy measures related to student debt. And it found that 45% of them would be somewhat or much more likely to vote if Biden cancels $10,000 in student debt for every federal borrower, which he pledged to do on the campaign trail. Now, that is not the amount that activists are asking for. We'll get to that in a sec. But the 10,000 is at least what he promised repeatedly he would do. And in fact, I think we have a little bit of video of that. Let's go to him making that specific promise. Does student loan forgiveness figure in your plan? Would you take executive action to achieve it? It does figure in my plan. I've laid out in detail, for example, the uh, the legislation passed by the Democratic House calls for immediate $10,000 forgiveness of student loan, just holding people up. They're in real trouble. They're having to make choices between paying their student loan and paying their rent, those kinds of decisions. It should be done immediately. Now, I know what you're thinking. He has been president for at least a week or two now. Maybe we should just give him more time. No, it's been over a year, buddy. He made the promise repeatedly. Where is the action? But anyway, that would be 10,000. 46% of respondents said they'd be likely to go to the polls if he were to cancel 50,000, which is what people are asking for. I mean, many think it should just all be eliminated, but regardless, it is clearly a winning issue. Now, there is a reverse of this. You can get people to go if you cancel it, but what if people are suddenly hit once again during the ongoing pandemic that we're still very much in? Well, as of May 1st, student loan repayment is going to resume. So it's been paused for two years, and just a couple of months before the election, people are gonna have to start taking that hit again. And think about how they're gonna think, how they're gonna remember the promises that Joe Biden made and thus far hasn't delivered on. Oh, but that will require doing something popular, John. I don't know if you factored that in, that like Democrats aren't good at doing what's popular. It's right in front of their face. This is the most no brainer. It's been the most no brainer for Joe Biden and the entire administration. And of course, it is even more of a no brainer when you consider that the Build Back Better Act, which he's, which was the name of his campaign. We're going to build back better that that signature legislation has not passed and most likely will not pass at least definitely not before the midterms, especially with Joe Manchin, the coal soaked Joe Manchin, <laughs> who is blocking any kind. I mean, I've called this the sort of the Manchin cinema like Chinese finger trap situation. They're like one on one side, the other on the other side. I can say that I'm Chinese and I'm just got so I've, <laughs> I've my family made its fortune in finger traps. Um, but you know, I, here's what I think they're gonna do. They're gonna be like, oh, oh, I know. We'll we'll alleviate three thousand dollars for Latinx families who have at least three children and are small business owners <laughs> and drive tan Nissans. Like it'll be the most means tested specific like relief. And we'll have to be like, yay, was that a thing? Yep. That may apply to some people in the audience and uh, you know, that's Good something I look to forward to. Yeah, something I could definitely tell you applies to people in the audience. If not, at least one of these people up here hosting <laughs> is that the fact is that black people have far more student loans than white people. You know, when you have more generational wealth, then it becomes less available when it comes to education and being able to pay it off and pay it off quickly. As far as I'm concerned, black college graduates they have on average about 25 grand more in wow. student loans, and then four years also after graduation. Uh, the average black college graduate has now 12 and a half percent more than they actually borrowed. Because uh, as we know, a lot of these college graduate loans are, um, they can be exorbitant when it comes to rates when they come from the private sector and whatnot. The fact is that it holds an entire demographic back that's already held back by uh, various forms of inequities throughout our society. 
And also it's like we've been uh, kind of fed this false lie or this entire lie that says, you know, all you have to do is get education and college, you're gonna have a great job and you're gonna be able to take care of yourself. But when you're black, that shows that that's not the case as you're held back in terms of hiring, pay, everything in the gamut. And so it's just, all it does is further not only the class divide, but the racial wealth gap that mm -hmm. continues to grow every day. And the problem is I can see why people on both sides of the aisle would wanna keep those measures in place to keep the hierarchies in our society really operating just as they were meant to operate. Exactly, I'm so glad that you made that point too because you also are perfect, perfectly demonstrating like what are the communities that really came out and, and made it happen for Biden yeah. in 2020? And these are the communities that he has largely ignored, that his numbers are going down even worse in. I mean, they're going down for everyone, but worse here and he has such an eminently doable, easy, popular thing that he could do to reassure people in those communities that no, I, I it wasn't all lies. I mean, sure, there's some of it that like, you know, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema, like, what are you gonna do? No, you cannot hide behind the other so-called moderates. You're the so-called moderate that we have an issue with here. Yes. Um, he could 100% do it. And some people are actually calling him out. Maybe this pressure will help. Um, AOC recently tweeted, is actually delusional to believe Dems can get reelected without acting on filibuster or student debt. Biden breaking his BBB promise, letting uh, the child tax credit lapse, zero path to citizenship, etc. Especially when they run from conversations about race and culture, which is about what 1-6 was about. And she says specifically in an interview earlier this week, it is Biden's power and ability to cancel student debt and nobody else's. Time for the administration is running out and we do not have much more time to wait. There is nothing for him to hide behind. Everyone can see what he's doing and everyone much more importantly can see what he's not doing. And so it will fall to them. Every day we get closer to an election that was always going to be difficult. That's the historic pattern. The, the party of the president tends to do poorly in the midterms. But they decided to activate challenge mode where they allowed the child tax credit to lapse earlier this year. They allowed evictions and foreclosures to return. People are gonna start getting their student loan payments resumed. And literally a couple of weeks before the election, I believe it was David Day and had a great breakdown on this. The subsidies for the ACA are gonna lapse. Mm -hmm. That should have been renewed in Build Back Better, but weren't. So people's insurance premiums are gonna be jacked up. They're gonna get letters announcing possible a doubling of their premiums oh, in the man. weeks leading up to the election. For those who aren't thrown off of their insurance entirely, Entirely. So, I've I've always kind of hated the they're they're trying to lose sort of thing. But to mimic you earlier, could you make it a little bit harder to make that case? You sure seem like you want to get destroyed in these midterms. Yeah, I just want to say like it's I get really cynical in this kind of moment, but I really want to stress that um, Democrats uh, do not have a plan. And they are not work, they are not deliberately losing. They're just this bad at governing. They're just this in like in bed with the status quo and corporations. And it's on us to get involved. We have it feels like the window we have to stop climate change. The window we have to stop like another smarter, I mean, that's very easy to do, <laughs> uh, fascist from actually coming to power like another Trump or Trump himself reanimated. Uh, like that. That window is closing, and again, I've said this, but we're sleepwalking into actual fascism in the United States if we can't get any yeah. of this stuff done. Uh, AOC is absolutely right. I know Naomi Klein, uh, who I've had on my podcast, is just like, look, if like there is a window, there's a window here, and the pressure matters. I know it's fun to be cynical. I know it's fun to sort of just be on Twitter, like I knew they weren't going to do anything. No, I would just say get involved. If it's you know this drop the debt movement, if it's Sunrise Coalition, if it's a labor union, whatever it is, the next couple of years are truly, truly, truly going to matter. And no, even if it's a one little, one sign, one demonstration, I would encourage people to to really get involved. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.